One year ago, on this same stretch of beach, Frenchman John Baptiste body basically decimated the competition in the pro runabout open class with an all-out domination of both motos. He then returned again this past February and teamed up with John Bruno Pastorello to take the overall win at the highly respected Mark Hahn 300 endurance race, once again centered on this same 100-yard stretch of sand and gravel. After that win, some wondered if this stretch should be renamed Body Beach. John Baptiste Body has returned once again in an attempt to add to that legacy with a repeat in this year's Pro Runabout Open class. He didn't have the smoothest of beginnings as the get-off and qualifier he won gave him a cold slap in the face that seemed to enrage Body into a speed frenzy, enabling him to qualify despite his morning swim. It's not like life is easy for Body out on the race course, with the likes of last year's runner-up James Bushel on the charge. Also super impressive in qualifying was Mohamed Berbea out of Kuwait on his well-financed, very dialed sea -Doo. Hungarian Georgi Kaza also looked strong in qualifying with a solid wire-to-wire -wire heat one win. Team Green fan favorite Craig Warner also looks super smooth and impressive in practice and qualifying on his turbocharged Kawasaki 15F. Fortunately for every racer in the field, they were blessed with what was widely regarded as the best race course in recent memory, thanks to IJSBA course designer Blake Corning. In Moto1, it was Georgi Kaza with the inside split hole shot on his ridiculously sharp handling, homegrown, all carbon SeaDoo RXPX Turbo. On the outside split, it was Mohamed Berbea on his SeaDoo. On the front straight merge, Berbea blew past Kaza for a rock solid race lead. Unfortunately for Mohamed, the joy was short-lived, as his engine expired at the end of lap one, conveniently landing him on the shoreline. Yorgi Kaza took the lead and ran with it, on the gas in every respect. Likewise, James Bushel rolled like he was on a mission. Besides taking second overall in open runabout last year, Bushel won the 2014 GP runabout class in convincing fashion for the fourth year in a row, so he is accustomed to winning here at Havasu. He was able to maintain a solid 80-yard lead on Body, something not that many people can lay claim to. Body was solid and fast for the first half of the moto, but he wasn't having the dominant performance of last year or of the early qualifying heats. In a way, it wasn't surprising when a mechanical issue intensified to the point where he eventually pulled off the course on lap 12 of 14. Craig Warner was also on the gas for the first two-thirds of the race, holding down seventh place until a mechanical issue put him on the hook. Craig cheered on fellow American Arminio Antasca. Arminio rode a trouble-free race on his sea -Doo to eventually take fourth place in Moto1. Aero Aswar, hailing from Indonesia, was fresh off of a winning string of performances in the Aqua X Racing Series held on the east coast of the U.S. Aero was able to finish a very respectable sixth in Moto1. The UK's Phil Pope was able to shrug off a collision with a buoy during his qualifier and a Moto1 get off at speed that left him over 100 feet from his ski to charge to a top five finish in Moto1. On the other hand, Japan's Ju Nakoma rode a mistake and drama-free race to nail down a seriously impressive third-place Moto1 performance. Bushel kept Kaza within eyesight for the duration of Moto1, but it was Kaza that took the deserving win. Top five results for Moto1 Kaza, Bushel, Ekoma, Ayantaska, and Pope. For Georgi Kaza, the start of Moto2 was deja vu, with Kaza taking the undisputed inside split hole shot. On the outside, it was James Bushel on an absolute tear. The two went side by side at the merge. 
When Bussell attempted a body-like outside pass, Kaza wouldn't have any of it. Held firm and pinned with the inside line. The shock and awe from that turn handed Kaza the lead. Inside or outside split, it didn't matter. Kaza was riding like a pre-programmed machine. Phil Pope had again settled into a fifth place pace until a mechanical issue ended his charge six laps in. Greg Warner had made an equipment change to the Kawasaki Ultra platform for Moto2. Craig inherited fifth place when Pope had his mechanical issue. Unfortunately for Craig, he also inherited the fifth place plague from Pope as Craig slowed to a crawl with a mechanical of his own on lap eight. Kaza and Bushel had basically checked out from the rest of the field. By the time the white flag flew, they had lapped all but third place, held by Thailand's Katunya Choman. Bushel pressed and waited patiently for Kaza to make a mistake. It never happened. Kaza went one and one for moto finishes and is the new undisputed pro runabout open world champion. Top five in Moto2, Kaza, Bushel, Choman, Chris Heinrich and Aero Aswar. For body, a Moto2 DNF means the beach name stays as is for the time being. For Kaza, the crown feels just right. My feeling is very good because I, first time in my life, win in the open class. And everybody here, very big the competition, the old racers is hard, and they're very, very happy. Thank you. Congrats to our new pro runabout world champion, Yorgi Kaza.